What is up guys? So it has been a while since I've made a video. I want to apologize for that. I've just been, it's just been hectic in my life and uh, I've been focusing on this update. It is finally out. Um, so you can tell from the title, it is mostly about wilderness. So the wilderness is back. It is dangerous. If you die, you are going to lose stuff. If you die, you will lose items. So, so uh, there's a big warning message. I, I hope that people will, will see it. It's, it's in caps and in red. So, you know, uh, hopefully people will see it. But let's get into the update. So, the, the wilderness is back. The following changes have been made to the wilderness. So let me show you all of them. Because that's what we do on these update videos now. We show everything. Does that just make sense? So, there is a loot hunter um, in the wilderness. Uh, there's also skeletal wyverns now. I will show you them. Skeletal wyverns here. Uh, there's a map. Uh, you can see right here if you want. I suppose I forgot Loot Hunter, but that is, it's not necessarily a, uh, I mean, it is a Slayer monster. But here's the Loot Hunter, just chilling, um, and then there was a, a good chunk of other monsters that were added. I suppose I don't need to show all of them to you, because I did make a map. I figured people would want to, you know, know where they all are, and we'll make a map. Um, so the, the real main thing that was improved was the uh, Wilderness Resource Arena, so let's get all the way over there. Should have some Hellhounds over here as well. Right uh, up there. Okay, so now there is a jewelry stall. Um, all the gems can be noted. There's a black salamander trap. The salamanders can be noted. And there's also a bird's nest. If you use this bird's nest compared to the other one, you'll actually get double loot. So this bird's nest provides double bird's nests. Um, with that, the bird's nest no longer, like, um... Ah, shit. Why, did I, why, did, why was I so confident I was going to remember the ID? Yeah, there you go. Wow. I got it. So you can see you didn't get a nest anymore. It was just annoying. I feel like I, and who even actually wants the nest? You can just buy them from the shop, even Iron Men, so there was zero reason to continue with that. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of inconvenience that I finally got rid of. Um, so I made some adjustments to the Comdulat formula, and what I'm going to do is I will cut to a clip I recorded that sort of shows it all off. Alright, so just going to show you a little bit of sort of how the, the new combat looks. Um, it's not, like, we're, we're never going to be perfect. I don't think ever. <laughs> I mean, I wish for it. That's the obvious goal, is to get a perfect combat formula or combat system. But it's unrealistic. But if we keep making work, you know, if we keep working on it, we'll get there. Um, so this is what we're at now. Let me just, I'll start off with just attacking. Um, so on the other account, we have the same gear. Uh, I guess he's not using a shield. I'll switch to this, just so you have the defender. Uh, beat. So you can see it's not like constant barrages of 50s and 60s. Um, so if you're familiar with the wilderness on Revival, one of the bigger issues is spec weapons. I did just combo myself out there for 39. But you can see you can still get... There's actually picane. You know what I mean? Like you, you can die. Let me give myself a potion. I want to I make sure I have defense and prayer up. Okay, so it does have max defense and has piety on. So you do have that. So let's uh, show off some spec weapons. Four two zero. Uh, this is the one that most people would be concerned with because it. Oh, that was just a smack. Four three zero. If you would normally see like really massive hits, fifties, sixties. I don't. Um, I suppose I can do the same. Two zero. Wait, wait. Let's. I stop running away. Just say. So then. Ugh, keep doing that. Show off some different spec weapons. I think that the spec weapons um, could probably use some new accuracy tweaks because a long time ago we we nerfed a lot of the stats on special attacks um, because special attacks, like I said, if you if you're familiar with the wilderness, were the main issue. You would you would most likely just it was like whoever got their specs off first won the fight, especially with an item like crystal halberd. So. So we uh, nerfed uh, accuracy a bit. I think we might want to like up it again, just because with the, the higher defense, um, there's less accurate specs. But you can see you can still you can still get some nice ones. Um, we, we, like I said, we do have I do have piety on and everything. Like oh, messing up my dimensions. Keep going. Just show off some more specs. 
So you can see, I mean, like, you, you can tell, like, the player actually has some defense now, and it isn't just uh, a shred fest. You can actually, like, try to, you know, get combos down. Let's, let's see if we can claw, claw out. I was successfully able to my first time I tried it, and I haven't since, so we'll see. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to get it this time, I would think. Oh, we didn't even get it! We didn't even get it. That's hilarious. Five health. But you can see, like, the weapon's hit, but it's not, like, break, you know, broken or anything. You're not going to get shredded. So, I like it a lot. Um, it's We're, we're, we're going to have to make some improvements. If you have feedback, the update post will have information for that. Okay, so the next thing that was changed would be the voting rewards. You now, um, the actual voting rewards are roughly the same. There are some new loots. Um, you do get 200 pug points per vote. Um, I think you get 100 when you redeem the votes, and then 100 when you redeem a ticket, so it is split up like that. But now you have chances of getting extra items, you have a chance of getting a bond from not only the vote tokens, but from actually voting. Whenever you redeem, um, you have a chance of getting a, uh, a bond, and then also a, a more a higher chance of getting mystery boxes so there's a lot of mystery boxes involved and uh, the vote streak so if you vote every day for seven days in a row you'll also receive some extra mystery boxes um, then as well the reward stashes from uh, boss invasion have been changed uh, so large is nine nine loops now medium is six and uh, small is three let me show a large one um, with this, if we ever do double boss invasion, it's only going to be points. We're no longer going to do double items because that would just be insane. But, uh, yeah. Nine items now, so. Uh, that should be a, a lot better. I think it should feel nicer. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so the Sanguine SD staff has been improved. The Zerosian Scythe special attack has been changed. It's now a more of a support special attack. It heals you. and um, Well, it always heals you, but now it heals you more. And it only requires 20% rather than 50%, so you get 5 instead of 2. The Scythe of Vitter has been redone, so now it actually hits twice uh, on big monsters. So if we... I've been working on this, like, all day pretty much. Hi. Um, and I, I, I had some success, but I just couldn't get 3 hits working. Uh, but what I was able to accomplish was 2 hits. So if we go to just anywhere, um, not Crabbins, Crabs... And uh, we smack something, it should just be business as usual, yes. But then, if we go to a monster, like, uh, uh I'll get on to the, the double experience in a second. Um, so then we have KBD here, and it should hit double. So you can see you get two hits. And it's not that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it should feel a lot nicer. It should do a lot more damage. It should be uh, probably the best in slot weapon, I would think, at all these places. Um, you can get those nice hits. It does still have a damage boost. Um, I think I did lower it slightly, but we'll see. We'll see where it's at now. So I think this weapon definitely has its niche. It has an area where it can be useful. And that's good. That's sort of the goal is to get all of the items to be sort of more separated and more unique with what they're useful at. And that's why we wanted to make the Cerosian Scythe more of a support. And then we wanted to make this. I don't... My health is kind of weird, so I don't know if I can actually show you the healing. My health isn't really... Yeah, see, I just went to 254. I don't think I can show that it's healing, but, you know, it does. It's still... It's not instant anymore. It just looks like it, but it isn't. Um, and then you do heal. It's actually um, not entirely based on your damage, so don't worry if you get a low number. I think it's... I don't actually know how it's calculated, but I know it's, um, it's it heals a lot more than... It heals twice as much as it used to, so it should be a, a very improved. So then, yeah, there's the next, uh, the last few changes where Mega Keys are no longer able to be, uh, be sold in the shop. That wasn't the intention for them, so I, that's why I made that change. They're still tradable, but not sold, um, they're not allowed to be sold to the shop. And then the Dragon Claw Drops um, are now the new ones, and you can update your old claws by using a golden hammer on them. I would recommend not doing that, just because, I mean, there's no way to get the old ones, so you'll sort of have them a relic, and those are always cool. Of course, oh, there we go. We did get the claws. So, and the old ones still do work, but uh, yeah, there we go. The claws. Uh, so that's it for the video. I will get into the calendar. So uh, today, this weekend, I know I'm starting later, but we did. I just kept the double experience and the raid points on all week, um, so to, to counteract that. But let me get the next calendar. Okay, so here we have the calendar. 
And how we're going to do it moving forward, whatever weekend is considered the worst, because there always will be one of those weekends where it's just not that great. Last weekend, or well, yeah, last weekend was the um, raid weekend. And that was just normal raid one where you got double points. Um, and that's just not as spectacular or as interesting as most other things. And I, you know, I don't know how many people even participated in it. I know we did do some Voss masses, so that is always a good time to do Voss masses. But, um, but the thing was, it just wasn't very, um, you know, it just wasn't very overpowered or anything like that. It wasn't very interesting. So, um, what I decided to do is at turn on double experience. So we don't, since we're not doing double experience on the last weekend any month, what I decided to do is whichever um, whichever weekend is the is considered the worst will also have double experience. So for this month we have trivia and double experience because I do think trivia is the worst of the options. Um, Slayer next week, and then we will have raid bi the week after. So I'm combining raids and boss invasion since boss invasion is kind of raids too. Um, so they're going to be combined, and remember, with boss invasion, you'll no longer get double rewards, you'll just get double points. Uh, should still be good for people who want to do it. I think should, it should be better now. I think one problem a lot of people sort of um, could agree with was that you didn't really want to do boss invasion outside of the weekends. So um, making the loots up to nine now, um, and just really increasing all of the numbers should, you know, that should balance, that, you know, you'll get that feel. It'll feel like it is almost double um, double rewards right now, so hopefully it'll feel a lot better and um, should be a lot more playable. With this update, we did see some updates to the scythe and the sanguine SD staff, so we're all working on those we um, weapons and whatnot. They're getting a lot better. And then the last one will be a luck boost. This is not double drops. This is just the luck boost where luck items will be doubled. So um, yeah, that's those are pretty classic, and we'll we'll do that. We'll also have the discussion on that day. Um, the discussion is very low key. It'll happen just on the Discord, and, and there's a specific channel for it. Um, if you have any topics you want to talk about, that's just a good time to do it. We can get everybody together and talk about it. So um, that will be the schedule. Uh, again, I apologize for the lack of videos. My aunt is coming into town, which should be fun. But really looking forward to it. But you know, just been busy cleaning up the house and getting ready for that. So. Um, hopefully, uh, I should have daily videos coming out soon. I don't have many clips, so if you have any ideas for what you want to see, so if you want to, I, I definitely want to do a Bankbuster. So if you have any, um, I think hardcore. Have we done hardcore yet? I'm not sure, but uh, we can definitely we can definitely do some new stuff. So if you have any suggestions, let me know.